Welcome, hello and welcome to the Magical Rosary with Santa Muerte. I am Luna Eclipse, a devotee of Santa Muerte. I've been dedicated to her going on four years now, and I've been working with her for over eight years. Uh, and I've been creating and teaching her rosary classes uh, for well over a year, about a year and a half now, I'd say, um, maybe a little longer. And by the end of this uh, year, um, this 52 week content will be completed and online as a paid course. Um, today we will practice how to pray a basic Santa Muerte rosary. The rosary we will be working with today is the traditional Catholic rosary. It's based on the number 10 um, and I'll show you why in a minute. Santa Muerte works very well with all things Catholic, saints, angels, the, the Catholic deities, holy items and rosaries and everything Catholic she works great with because she is a disavowed uh, Catholic folk saint. Um, although if you're making a special rosary for her in your own personal practice, you could base it on the number that's sacred to Santa Muerte instead of the number 10, uh, like the number five or the number seven, nine or 13, depending on what path of power you wish to invoke. Some of those numbers are better for invoking, some of them are better for banishing. Some of them are just paths of power. So we will be working a full rosary so you can feel how it will make you feel in trance. It usually puts people in a nice state of trance. We will also be working with her sacred number nine, uh, which is one of my favorites, um, with one of my own personal incantations of power that we pray on the Deccan, uh, praying an extra prayer on the last bead of each Deccan. So we would. this is 10 beads here. You would pray up to the last one. You would pray all those, the incantation, and the last bead, you'll pray the other prayer to charge that Deccan uh, with her power. Uh, so when, um, when doing this rosary on your own, feel free to pray either the incantation that I will show you, or you can pray more traditionally uh, the Hail the Santissima prayer on the entire set of 10 beads, whichever feels best to you. Um, I personally enjoy trying new things on the rosary, which is what my course is all about. Uh, so yeah, um, you could also, if you wanted to uh, pray five beads for a shortened rosary by skipping every other bead. So you would start Hail the Santissima here, skip Hail the Santissima here, skip Hail the Santissima here, skip Hail, and so forth. And so instead of 10 beads, on each decan, you'll get five. So if you don't have a lot of time and you just want a quick rosary practice, that's a good way to do it. And you still keep the number five as a path of power. Um, you can also alternate the two prayers. So each one is prayed five times. Again, that's also a lesser number and a, still a path of power for Santa Muerte. So you could pray the invocation that I give you and the Hail the Santissima invocation, Hail the Santissima, and keep alternating like that on the Deccan, and each one would be prayed ten, uh, five times on the Deccan. Um, so this is actually why I enjoy working my magic on a Catholic style rosary based on the number 10. Um, for particular numerical results, you can double up beads, you can subtract uh, three beads at the beginning, and you can pray seven beads in a row. Uh, so you can get the number seven. There's lots of ways that you can do this. Um, to get the particular numerical results that you desire. Um, so yeah, Catholic finger rosaries actually do work well for this as well. Once you get um, better at doing a full rosary and you don't need to have the beads there to pray one, um, you can easily use your fingers. I do that sometimes when I'm in uh, like the hot tub or the sauna, when I go to my gym, I'll just do, 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 pray on my fingers and like very silently to myself and be in meditation and it's lovely. So I will show you what I mean by all this on the actual rosary. And we're going to do this based off of the traditional Catholic rosary structure to start with so you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, whenever you pray a rosary, you start here with the cross at the bottom. And I'm like trying not to hold this up too high for you, uh, but high enough that you can see the whole thing. So start with the cross at the bottom. I'm just going to grab it like this for you all the way up to the three-way connector. I like to call these, um, the uh, warm-up section here because you're getting warmed up for the rest of the rosary which is very repetitive uh, so you start at the bottom and you would say traditionally the creed um, and then the next part one bead and three beads going up you would pray here the our father three hail marys and then on the chain before this bead depending on how you practice each catholic is a little different you're supposed to pray it on the chain the glory be 
Some people will pray it here and then do their first mystery here. It's all whatever works for you. Technically, you're supposed to pray the glory be on the chain, and then your first mystery is prayed on this first bead. Uh, you could use this as your first bead if you really want to. Some Catholics may say you're doing it wrong, but I say as long as it works, you're not doing it wrong at all. <laughs> as long as it works for you. So the main rosary cycle would be this main mystery bead, um, or this one if you want to use that instead, followed by 10 beads, uh, which are the decans, because it has 10 for a decade or a decan is what they would call this. When you're doing one with seven, they call it a week. That's how that works. Seven. There we go. And then you have another mystery bead and another decan, mystery bead, decan, mystery bead, decan, mystery bead, decan, and then you're back to the very end, which is the three-way connector bead. You always end on the three-way connector bead. That's why I don't pray the three-way connector bead as my first mystery bead. I like to really ground the energy down and out. When I'm done, I feel like that manifests my magic better. And I also feel if I use that only for that, it's like a sacred bead to me. That's why I like to not use that as the mystery bead. Um, but that's up to you. Um, so yeah. The main rosary cycle, which is this whole thing I just went through, um, it is, is basically a repetition of one mystery bead followed by 10 beads five times. <laughs> um, so each mystery bead is a different mystery um, of Christ, or in our case, something worth they, uh, that allows a practitioner to go deeper into the inner truths of the faith. You have five mysteries, and after each mystery, you say on the exact same bead, we'll go to the second mystery bead so it's easier to see, uh, right here, you would say the mystery, and then you would say um, the Our Father prayer and the glory be on the same mystery bead. Then you would do 10 Hail Marys, one on each of these Deccan beads. Um, while meditating on the mystery that you just said on the mystery bead. Then you go to the next mystery, do the same thing. And on this deck and you meditate on this, um, on this mystery that you just prayed. So that's kind of how that works um, in the basic Catholic structure. And it works very well with Santa Morte prayers that are based off the original Catholic prayers. Or in my course, we basically base them on whatever magic we are doing. Uh, so eventually we do change all the prayers to suit Santa Muerte um, and her mysteries. Uh, so there are many different rosaries that you can do to Santa Muerte. Um, and although in today's um, example, I have used prayers for Santa Muerte converted to her mysteries by someone else. Uh, the basic rosary script today is easy to find online, actually. Um, it, it varies slightly differently um, depending on the website you find it on, uh, but very similar versions exist on many different sites for Santa Muerte, and I do really like this rosary a lot. It's a great basic rosary. I structure the rosary in practice today, how she shows me that she wants it, and I've structured everything around the Catholic version that she seems to prefer. So she does like that structure. Throughout the course, though, I do have my own rosaries that I personally have designed and created for Santa Muerte uh, with her divine inspiration. Um, so the one that we are working today is just one that I enjoy a lot. Um, in my course, we pray different ones every single week, <laughs> which is fun. So. Uh, the prayers that we will be using today, like I said, they can be found online and they consist of the Santa Muerte's Creed, Our Santa Muerte, Hail the Santissima, Glory Be, and Hail Holy Queen of the Underworld uh, with the five mysteries of Santa Muerte. And that might sound very similar to what I just talked about on the rosary because it's very similar to the Catholic style just all for Santa Muerte. All of these prayers can be found in the attached rosary script uh, that you can find in the video description so it'll be easier for you to follow along. So using your fingers, um, we, we will be using the main rosary cycle today uh, with, with five mysteries, uh, repeating an, an incantation that I've added nine times on the deck and the in incantation is my addition to this rosary that can be found online. You won't find that part online. Um, and then we finish each decade uh, with the Hail the Santissima prayer uh, only on the 10th bead of the decan, um, the 10th decan bead. Uh, so we're charging this whole decan that we just said with our incantation with this final bead. It like puts the final nail in the coffin, so to speak. 
I love making some of them, weren't they jokes? Aww. Uh, so yeah, uh, all of these prayers, like I said, they, they can um, be found in the attached rosary script. So today's rosary is a warm up for the work that we will be doing in my course. So if you enjoy it, you will probably enjoy the full course. Uh, today we will start with the Santa Muerte Creed and go straight into each mystery. Um, each creed or mystery is followed by one Our Santa Muerte and one Glory Be Holy Death. So each time we pray, one of these larger mystery beads that are separate from the decans, um, on that same bead, after we say the mystery prayer, we will then say the Our Santa Muerte and the Glory Be prayer. And then we'll move on into the prayer cycle uh, of the decan. So. Um, so yeah, prayer cycles are completed. You can, you can easily do this, like I was saying, on fingers, uh, but I really do, if you're a beginner, I really do prefer working on a whole rosary. Um, I'm a visual person, so for me it helps to see the whole rosary. So this might seem a little confusing if it's your first time on the rosary, uh, but feel free to follow along. It'll be simple to understand, and I'm going to be praying it on a slightly, uh, this awesome rosary here. This is my go-to for my workshops and classes. It's got nice big beads on it. So it should be easy to follow along and watch what I'm doing as well. So I will be saying the rosary aloud on this video. Feel free to follow along on your own, um, in your own sacred space, saying the rosary with me and we can build our power and energy together. Uh, as you say the rosary, Allow your energy to flow, Diasil, which is clockwise, connecting with everyone else in this video, uh, both the present viewers right now on the live video, or even past viewers, uh, present viewers and future viewers, because it's going to be um, able to be seen uh, for quite a while. So um, allowing everything, all that energy to fill you and flow through you, charging you with power. Uh, as we pray the very last prayer, um, and again, that's it's easier to see on this rosary, with that three-way connector bead right here, that very last prayer after we've done the full rosary, um, it's the Hail Holy Queen of the Underworld prayer. Allow the energy to ground down through you and into the ground with gratitude, attuning your whole being down, rooting it through your subconscious. Now let us begin the magical rosary. If you have your own rosary, now's the time to pull it out. Ah, taking a few deep breaths, center and ground yourself and become ready for meditation. And I do know this. There we go. I'm probably going to scroll every now and then though to make sure that while I'm in trance, I don't mess up. Uh, it is very easy when you're in trance and doing a rosary to forget what bead you're on, to pray an extra one sometimes, um, or to start praying one of the other prayers if you're not paying attention. Um, just so you know, there's no wrong way. When you do that, it means you're doing it right, uh, and you should pat yourself on the back. It means that you've gone into full trance. So holding the crucifix here at the bottom, take a few deep and centering breaths and say, O oh, La Santissima Morate, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit to renew the face of the earth. One bead. Our Santa Morte, who will come for us all, kind and gentle be your kiss. When you come to end my life, may I be free of any regrets. Thank you for this day, one more beautiful day, so I may have it to live, love, and laugh my own way. Amen. Three beads. Glory be, holy death, blessed death, peaceful death. As you've been with me from the beginning, so are you with me now, and so will you be with me always. Amen. Glory be, holy death, blessed death, peaceful death. As you've been with me from the beginning, so are you with me now, and so will you be with me always. Amen. Glory be, holy death, blessed death, peaceful death. As you've been with me from the beginning, so are you with me now, and so will you be with me always. Amen. First set, first mystery bead, all three prayers on one bead. La Santissima Muerte receives her scythe, which she uses to cut the threads of life. Our Santa Muerte, who will come for us all, kind and gentle be your kiss. When you come to end my life, may I be free of any regrets. 
Thank you for this day, one more beautiful day, so I may have it to live, love, and laugh my own way. Amen. Glory be, holy death, blessed death, peaceful death, as you've been with me from the beginning. So are you with me now, and so will you be with me always. Amen. And now we skip the three-way connector bead, which for me is just three knots. And we go to our first decan. On this decan, we will pray nine beads of the first uh, incantation. And then we will do this, the tenth bead to charge it. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death. Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love and charge that decan with this final bead. Hail la Santissima Muerte, full of love and grace. Blessed by you are the forsaken and forgotten. Blessed by you are the abused and downtrodden. Hail the Santissima who holds power over us all. Bless us with your love now and at the moment of our deaths, amen. Second set, one mystery bead. All three prayers on one bead again. La Santissima Muerte receives her cloak, which she uses to protect the world and her devotees. Our Santa Muerte, who will come for us all, kind and gentle be your kiss. When you come to end my life, may I be free of any regrets. Thank you for this day, one more beautiful day, so I may have it to live, love, and laugh my own way. Amen. Glory be holy death blessed death, peaceful death, as you've been with me from the beginning. So are you with me now, and so will you be with me always. Amen. Moving into the next decan. Nine beads, tenth bead we charge it. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Hail la Santissima Muerte, full of love and grace. Blessed by you are the forsaken and forgotten. Blessed by you are the abused and downtrodden. Hail the Santissima who holds power over us all. Bless us with your love now and at the moment of our deaths. Amen. Third mystery bead. La Santissima Muerte receives the scales of justice, which she uses to restore balance and tranquility to the world. Our Santa Muerte, who will come for us all, kind and gentle be your kiss. When you come to end my life, may I be free of any regrets. Thank you for this day, one more beautiful day, so I may have it to live, love, and laugh my own way. Amen. Glory be, holy death, blessed death, peaceful death. As you've been with me from the beginning, so are you with me now, and so will you be with me always. Amen. Third decan. Nine beads, charging on the last one. Santa Muerte, holy death, 
Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death. Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Hail la Santissima Muerte, full of love and grace. Blessed by you are the forsaken and forgotten. Blessed by you are the abused and downtrodden. Hail the Santissima who holds power over us all. Bless us with your love now and at the moment of our deaths. Amen. Fourth mystery bead. All three prayers on one bead. La Santissima Muerte places her feet upon the earth to serve those who love her. Our Santa Muerte, who will come for us all, kind and gentle be your kiss. When you come to end my life, may I be free of any regrets. Thank you for this day, one more beautiful day, so I may have it to live, love, and laugh my own way. Amen. Glory be, holy death, blessed death, peaceful death. As you've been with me from the beginning, so are you with me now, and so will you be with me always. Amen. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Hail la Santissima Muerte, full of love and grace. Blessed by you are the forsaken and forgotten. Blessed by you are the abused and downtrodden. Hail the Santissima who holds power over us all. Bless us with your love now and at the moment of our deaths. Amen. Fifth and final mystery bead. La Santissima Muerte is given the power to walk beyond the veil and back, to collect a soul when the flame of life is extinguished. O la Santissima Muerte, join us before the Most High and bless us. Our Santa Muerte, who will come for us all, kind and gentle be your kiss. When you come to end my life, may I be free of any regrets. Thank you for this day, one more beautiful day, so I may have it to live, love, and laugh my own way. Amen. Glory be, holy death, blessed death, peaceful death. As you've been with me from the beginning, so are you with me now, and so will you be with me always. Amen. Final decan. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death. Watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. 
Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Santa Muerte, holy death, watch over me, protect me, keep me safe, and fill me with the power of your love. Hail la Santissima Muerte, full of love and grace. Blessed by you are the forsaken and forgotten. Blessed by you are the abused and downtrodden. Hail the Santissima who holds power over us all. Bless us with your love now and at the moment of our deaths. Amen. And on the three-way connector bead, swirling your energy, bringing it within you and grounding it down through you into the ground with gratitude and rooting you into this earth. Hail, Holy Empress of the Underworld, La Santissima Muerte, have mercy on me. It is to you that I turn to in my times of need. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards me. O La Santissima Muerte, use your powers and magic on my behalf. Never forsake me, O Blessed Mother of all. Amen. O La Santissima Muerte, be with me now, and when my time comes, grant me a peaceful death. and breathe. And that is the end of our rosary practice today. May Santa Muerte guide and bless you. I hope this rosary was grounding for you, peaceful and empowering as well for everyone who's able to, to see this video. I hope you all enjoyed our rosary practice today. Uh, it really allows us all to get into nice deep trance together, to pull the energies in, to spiral them around, and to force shape them to our will. Uh, so yeah, you can choose to pray um, the longer Hail the Santissima Muerte prayer for all 10 of the decade, decade be decan beats uh, if you wish to, uh, for a more intense trance if you would like. The one that I did personally, I really like the incantation. Uh, it's one of my favorite, and that is my incantation. It's one of my favorite incantations for the rosary. Um, and the final prayer at the end, the Hail the Santissima was one that, again, was part of this rosary script that I just really like, but the last prayer I added because I really like that prayer. Um, and it also works well with Santa Muerte and her mysteries. So these are, uh, there are many rosaries to Santa Muerte, like I said, uh, use the one that you feel that you like the best. It's important to connect to the magic. Um, if you can connect to the magic in a powerful way, then the magic will be powerful for you. And that's what matters more than anything else. It's not about doing things the right way. There is, there is a right way and that's the way of not, um, not being culturally appropriative. Other than that, there's really no wrong way to work with Santa Muerte or pray her rosary. Um, so yeah, use the one that works best for you. This one is perfect for protection or raising power, um, and it's based off of a rosary script, like I said, that you can find many places online, and there's different versions of it. Uh, but there are simple uh, rosary modifications and many different unique scripts that we will be playing with in my uh, my course for various purposes um, and various magics as well. So thank you all for joining me. May Santa Muerte guide and bless you. Stay tuned for more.